Hi there, my name is Lena and I got a new keyboard. So this is the Logitech G715. It's a wireless keyboard. There is also a wired version. Before this, I had a just a wired membrane keyboard and it was really bugging me with the wires. So I wanted to get a wireless keyboard. And then this one popped up because the Aurora collection was, when I found it, the Aurora collection wasn't released yet. It was just like pre-orders. And I was looking at it and it was like so expensive, but it was like, white and it has a light purple little accents and a cloud wrist rest like everything was just like so cute and so perfect i was like oh i don't know it's a lot of money I could probably just get like a cheaper keyboard but i don't know i was thinking about it for ages and i was like i really wanted it and then it got released um and i got it also too it's my birthday this week it's already gone when i released the video 9th of September is my birthday, so it's my birthday week this week. So that's kind of how I rationalize it. This retails for 350 the wireless one. Um, I think the wired one was like maybe like $40, $50 cheaper, but it's, it's still an expensive keyboard. What sold me, honestly, was just the wrist rest. The keyboard, I wasn't really sure. Like, I never had a mechanical keyboard, so I wasn't invested in how the keyboard would feel. But the wrist rest to me, I was like, oh my gosh, it's a cloud wrist rest. So cute. This keyboard has brown tactile switches. When I was looking at the games keyboard, I was like, okay, I'll just research a bit more. And one of the things that came up um, in the marketing was that you can choose your switches. And I was like, okay, what are switches? So I did a little deep dive into that. And I found out there's like the clicky blue switches, there's the tactile brown, and there's the kind of quiet linear red. And also that keyboard heads usually go for thunk rather than click. So blue kind of clicky is not that uh, desirable I guess in the community I guess it all depends but from what I found out blue was quite loud like quite clicky I was really thinking of getting a loud keyboard so brown seemed like a good middle ground to me in the reviews that I saw there was like people who were talking about it they would be like oh, like they would say it's a blue uh, key switches or brown key switches so I found conflicting kind of information um, and then when I actually asked the retailer that I got this from before, like when it was uh, no stock, it was still pre-order. They said, well, actually, we don't know yet. We'll know when we get it in stock. And then um, they it released and they got stock. And they said, oh, yeah, we have brown switches. It does look like the Logitech information is that you can choose your switches, but we sell brown switches. Um, so like, okay, cool. I think the wired version has different key switches to the wireless one. Um, but... I'm not so sure like with the marketing it was saying like Logitech marketing because I looked up as well I'm like this both on the retail website and on the Logitech website it said you can choose your own key switches but then when you go to Logitech and if you just like try and add it to your cart you can add it to your cart but it doesn't say any like you don't have to pick any kind of information about what switches you want so like I understand the cut like with the raw collection it's all about like customization and you can have different keycaps different top plate um, and you can sort of customize it to however you want it. Uh, but with the key switches, I haven't found any evidence that you can actually customize it from the Logitech website. I mean, if you want to like put in your own key switches yourself, but that's the same with any mechanical keyboard then, like it's not exclusive to this kind of thing. So it's a bit strange. I don't know if they just say that for all mechanical keyboard marketing, like you can choose your own switches, like yes maybe that's what they meant i don't know i was a bit confused because i was thinking with these keyboards like if i want to get a wireless can i choose wireless different kinds of switches like could i just get a wireless red or is it wireless brown and it seems like it's just wireless brown i did like the appeal of customization where you can like change the keycaps and key, uh, top plate i like the white kind of aesthetic i like the clean white aesthetic little bit of like light purple i just like the concept of having like a gaming keyboard that wasn't like dark black and red and like really bright rgb i like how it's white it's like a very like muted color like very soft palette this this the aurora collection is a very soft palette the lights around the base and like the lights on the keyboard aren't super bright like they're, they're the same kind of soft palette as well it's cute it's a cute idea inclusivity like different kind of like choose your own aesthetic with the kind of inclusivity marketing i saw that some people were saying that you know they say inclusivity and they say they're trying to like cater towards different kind of gamers but at the same time 
it's really expensive so it's not quite accessible but I think at the same time gaming like stuff gaming kind of equipment and everything is always really expensive like this is not just a keyboard it's a wireless gaming keyboard so uh, like I kind of expect it to be expensive it's still a lot of money and I wouldn't <laughs> I'd love it to be cheaper it's like it's not like it's a bad keyboard it, it still has a lot of features it's got the aesthetic it's got the wrist rest like if this is what you're looking for then price wouldn't matter as much price at the end of the day was not a deal breaker like because I got it like it was still a lot of money to part with but at the same time it's like this is my aesthetic this is what I like and I was in the market for a keyboard so it kind of made sense part of the Aurora collection there's the keyboards wireless and wired um and then there's the mouse there's a headset you can get there's a mic and there's also like the top plates and the keycaps you can get for the keyboard there's like a whole little like collection it's kind of cute where you can collect the whole setup kind of thing. I mean, it's a lot of money, so I'm not collecting the whole setup any time soon. But yeah, I'm really happy with the keyboard. I was thinking of getting the Aurora Collection mouse, but I actually have my own mouse that I like and it works. It sort of did stop working, but my mouse, it's like over five years old and then it just stopped working one day and the battery died. But then I went to check the battery and it was like, it was like fossilized. Like it was like chicken crumbs all around <laughs> i don't know what happened in the, the battery so so worried it was just broken but i finally pulled the battery out it was so stuck i pulled the battery out and then vacuumed all the breadcrumb thingies um and then it works it works fine with a new battery all charged up as well my old mouse is black so it doesn't quite fit the aesthetic but it's okay but yeah i really do like the soft palette it's just much nicer one thing i got to say is there was so much like misleading things about the switches about like choosing your own switches that that was confusing enough and then there was another confusing thing with the retailer for this one where i got it they were saying like you can get a bonus offer of a free top plate when you buy the keyboard and it was while stocks last so i was like okay cool the thing is there was no stock so they had no stock to begin with so this keyboard you can Click and collect it, you can order it and then pick it up in store. So it's super convenient because it's a local store. But with the top plates, since they had no actual stock in the shops, it was just all like you have to order it in, you had to pay delivery. So like, but for me, it's like, if I can pick this up from my local store, why would I pay postage just for this like top plate? So eventually went in the store and asked, found out that, so if you, or like buy it in store if you buy the keyboard in store and say hey can i get the top plate deal as well they'll say yeah well you just like order it and then um you can pick it up when the stock comes in but then that defeats the whole purpose of while stocks last right like there's no stock so like i don't <laughs> that didn't make any sense but either way i don't think it's gonna be like a million people buying this keyboard for this one offer so that was a bit like another confusing thing where it was like seriously like just get your marketing right come on so i ordered a pink top plate and we'll see when that arrives personally i'll probably just leave the white but it's like if there's an offer if you're getting something for free you might as well get it i also almost forgot to mention that in case it wasn't obvious i really like the light purple aesthetic my water bottle is light purple my little earbuds are light purple so that was the video next is the unboxing so see you in the unboxing so this is the unboxing this is the keyboard this is the mouse i currently have it's a telecom g exg i know i've had it for a very long time but it's a really nice mouse i also got this desk mat i was watching it for like at least six months and i was like oh will it go on sale and let's just wait and see and then it was finally on sale when i was getting this so i got the um desk mat as well and it just it it just matches the aesthetics this is the box and you get little instructions so these are the top plates and the keycaps you can get so you can get the pink the green i ordered the pink top plate cool Okay, so this is the keyboard. I gotta figure out how to get it out. Oh, here we go. Ooh, nice. 
I like how the WASD is different color as well. Obviously gaming keyboard, so that's a nice little touch. Back to here. So this is the wrist rest. Wow. I like the sound. Also too, just the build. I really like how the keycaps feel. Just comparing to my old one. And it just feel like nicer. They feel more like soft or like sanded down and then like smooth. But yeah, so there's your little volume controls and play and pause and anything. Uh, sound dial. So this is TKL, so it's 10 keys less. So they don't have the numbers, but that's not a big deal because I never use it on my old keyboard anyway. These affect the lights. Oh, look at it in the dark. But yeah, oh my gosh. And look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at this cloud. It's literally a cloud. It's so cute. It's so cute. I can't get over it. I'm sorry, keyboard. I love you too, but the cloud. Okay, I'll try this with the lights off. So it's like me typing. This is a pom-pom cushion, but there's also a cute fluffy dog hiding amongst the pom-poms. Like, subscribe, and comment when you spot the dog. Also, share this video with someone else if you like. Bye!